Well, it is summertime and it's time to take it easy. Welcome everyone to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. I am your host, Aaron, and we're talking about pocket knives that are fun and easy to carry in your gym shorts, swimming trunks, and just lightweight shorts and lightweight clothes in general. Because, you know, it's summertime, you want to come home after a hard day of work, you know, dr drop trowel, throw on some gym shorts, throw on the flip-flops, chill, maybe cook on the grill, hang out, relax. And many of us have pocket knives that maybe are a little just too heavy. Just as an example, pocket knife I'm currently carrying in my jeans, uh, ZT0566, uh, video coming soon, just got this like two, three days ago. Uh, this is, you know, like 5.3 ounces. Solid, solid, beefy blade. But if I throw this in my gym shorts and chill around the house, you know, run over to the grocery store to, you know, refill the propane tank or something, this thing, I mean, is going to be a brick in my pocket. I mean, the whole, my pants are going to be falling down. It's going to be swinging all over the place and just not enjoyable to carry. So that's what I want to do in this video. Talk to you about some pocket knives, just give you some options, ones that I like to carry in my pocket, uh, in my pocket when I'm wearing these type of shorts. These are one of my favorite uh, types and when I'm just chilling in the summertime. So that's what we're talking about. So there's some criteria, there's some points that must be hit for me to carry a knife when I'm wearing more lightweight um, pants, shorts, that help to keep it from being like a brick in the pants. So the main criteria for me, guys, is weight and slimness of the knife. If the knife is not a slim profile and it's taking up a bunch of real estate, I'm probably not gonna carry it in the pocket and it has to be under three ounces. If the knife weighs more than three ounces, I'm probably not gonna carry it in my gym shorts or basketball shorts or in my lightweight gear you know, in the summertime to just keep me cool. So I wanna kick this off with two great options here that are budget friendly. Both are gonna come in at under 20 bucks and we are gonna have links in the description below for all these uh, products that we're gonna talk about today, not only over to Blade HQ, but Amazon. So when you guys are done with this video, if there's an, uh, a particular option that pops off the screen to you, when you guys use those hyperlinks, helps me get out there and make content just like this. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. So the first two here, you guys see this a lot. I mean, this is just so many versatile options is the K-Bar Dozer, both Hunter without the thumb stud and the, uh, the eye hole or um, the, or that was a clip point or this Hunter version with the thumb stud, ambidextrous tip up. 2.3 ounces on my scale, ultra light, nice and slim, $20 or less, tons of color combinations. Aus 8 Steel, full or not full flat, but a hollow grind, but just really, really fun. I love carrying this in the summertime in my gym shorts. It's just a, a really versatile, cheap, budget-friendly option. Another one is maybe you just want to throw it on your keychain, you know, and even less weight, less real estate, but you just want a little pocket knife for the summertime that you maybe don't have to, you know, you, you have your big ZT when you went to work and, you know, when you're running around town and you're wearing your jeans and stuff, but now, you know, it's, it's the weekend, it's Friday evening, and you dump this in the drawer. Obviously, no pocket clip, so it does have a lanyard hole, so you can attach it lots of different ways to keychains or just a big lanyard or whatever you'd want. But this guy comes in at like 1.2 ounces. This is going to be the lightest knife we look at here today, the Gerber US1. Uh, pick this up at Walmart for $15. You can find them between $15 and $20, bucks, Amazon or Blade HQ. So this one also just great. 420 high carbon, USA made. Still fills out my entire hand really nicely. Gives me good rubberized traction. Good little lockup. You know, it's like a 2.25 inch blade, razor sharp, great little precision EDC knife. Another aspect you want to think about as well is not only the slimness and the weight, but you also want to think about length of handle. You know, do you want this big, giant, long knife in your basketball, gym shorts, you know, whatever, um, just taking up real estate? It's a, it's a real estate issue, particularly on those type of pants. Usually, not only, you know, maybe do you just have a drawstring, so we're obviously concerned about weight, but you only have two pockets. You don't have cargo pockets to put your wallet in or your phone, you know, and, and you have a lot going on there, and so you have this big, giant bulge in your pockets and you know people are like looking at you like whoa weirdo you know and, and to kind of alleviate some of that you don't want it to be super long so most of these you're also going to find are four inches or less on the handle still giving you plenty of real estate but just taking up less real estate than you might think and so these two guys are two awesome options one usa made one overseas produced uh, but we have here the mini intrigue from steel will uh, and we have the Kershaw Skyline. Now, this is the Damascus Steel version. 
Um, super awesome. They do limited runs of that like every year. I think Blade HQ carries them regularly when they do hit. Uh, you know, or just the basic Sandvik version. Both of these are going to be kind of our middle of the line, not quite budget, but giving you a lot more performance than the last two that we just looked at. In that these both, again, are going to come in at under three ounces. This guy, the Intrigue, at I believe 3.2. This guy, I believe at three, or excuse me, 2.2 and 2.6 right here on the Skyline. Both about the same blade, just about three inches even. Uh, the Skyline has the hollow grind. This one has the saber grind. Both very precise tips. Again, these are EDC blades. These aren't tactical knives. These aren't, these aren't heavy duty folders. You're not gonna be carrying those in your basketball shorts. Otherwise, stick with your ZT or whatever and go that route, but you're not gonna enjoy wearing your gym shorts and lightweight clothing in that way. So um, great tip up, you know, for uh, these guys or tip down. The Intrigue will be lefty friendly. The Skyline is not, so you lefties out there, I would probably go with the Intrigue. Um, you know, liner locks, very simple, flow through construction, both about 40 to $45, just depends on where you find them. Lots of color combinations, lots of options out there. This is an aftermarket loop over that I love. Helps it to, to deep ride pretty well in there. Flippers on both, but they're both gonna be great, you know, just to have on your person. They're not taking up a lot of real estate. They're ultra slim, ultra thin, weighing under three ounces and are great precision, lightweight for gym shorts and basketball shorts and, you know, enjoying the backyard and running over to the grocery store, going out, you know, to a quick grab a quick bite to eat at the burger joint with your family. These guys are awesome for that and aren't gonna break the bank, but are gonna give you a lot of value. All right, so up to this point, we've been looking at mostly, you know, under $50 budget-friendly options. Maybe you wanna throw a lot more money at those heavier duty blades and you just won't need something cheap and inexpensive. But maybe you're just lightweight all the time where you're like, dude, I gotta have performance and I gotta have lightweight. Well, here we go, two awesome options right here. The Spyderco Delica 4, ultra classic, ultra loved, very slim, great precision blade, full flat grind, VG10, four-way directional pocket clip, I believe 2.6 ounces again, maybe 2.4. Uh, I weighed all these earlier just to confirm, but I, can't, I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Good full handle too. You know, you're know, you not gonna lose that real estate, but again, not gonna take up the, the real estate in the pocket. You're gonna have real estate in the hand, but not in the pocket. And then S30V on the bug out coming in at 1.9 ounces. So this is gonna be like the, the second lightest next to the little Gerber here uh, that we've looked at. That is amazing. I mean, this is a mind blowing lightweight EDC and uh, really top dog in the list that we're looking at today. If you want premium, but you want lightweight capability, you got a mini pocket clip that still works great. You know, right or left, you got your axis lock, S30V steel. You got about a 3.2 inch blade, high saber grind, nice and thin. So, I mean, this is a, again, a precision blade, but again, you got that axis lock, full handle, you know, still got plenty of real estate, but still not being, you know, as big as some other pocket knives that are out there. It will have, I believe, no, it's about the same here. The Delica and the Benchmade have uh, the same, the Benchmade bug out here. Let me just kind of look at this. Yeah, these are all coming in about the same length. I, I don't know off the top of my head. I believe they're all about like four to 4.2 um, on the length there. But anyway, I mean, under two ounces for this level of premium blade steel, locking mechanism, pocket clip. I mean, it, it's got the whole package for really the, the, um, the professional uh, summer relaxer, the guy that, that knows how to chill in the summertime and you're a professional at it and you need that professional level blade, it's the Benchmade bug out in my opinion. So we do have a bonus round here. Um, now these come into the weight class and handle size, but these are gonna be fatter than any of the other ones that we've looked at. The handle thicknesses, I mean, you know, it's like a millimeter or two, but having carried all these knives for an extended period of time over one or two summers, for the most part, at least, uh, I can attest that Though these are really nice and lightweight, and again, gonna give you nice lots of options, they are they do just take up a little more real estate, and I do notice them more than the other ones that we've looked at. So you just need to weigh you know pros and cons with that. But the Rat Model 2, OS 8, you're gonna find it for about $25. D2, you're gonna find it for about 40 bucks. Comes in, I think, 2.6, 2.5 ounces, four-way directional. Nice little liner lock, great little precision blade there. Great, great box cutter. I mean, this thing is just a slicer and dicer. Um, but again, it's just gonna be a little fatter in the hand. Maybe that's a positive, you know, more ergonomics. And then 
I hope this hasn't been discontinued. I haven't seen it for a while on some of the sites. It is still on Amazon when I'm making the video. So maybe if you haven't been thinking about it, do it. Uh, links below again. SOG Mini Trident. This guy's going to come at 2.2. Uh, almost a full flat grind. Basically a very high saber grind. Great precision. This will be the only assisted open blade on the table today. Great deep ride ambidextrous pocket clip. A little safety, pocket safety there. I love this knife. I mean, I'm, I'm never going to get rid of this thing. This thing is super sweet. Great ergonomics. Um, probably some of the best traction as well, you know, for, for prying and, and stabbing if you had to do that. This is going to give you the, probably the best level of traction out of all the knives that we looked at today because of the good cut in, heavy traction here, and the good jimping. So, um, and this guy's going to be Aus 8 Steel, um, about 45, 40 to $45, last I remember. Serrated versions are out there, Tanto versions are out there. Lots of options, but this is a cool blade, cool, cool blade, both of these guys, but they're just going to be a little bit thicker than the other ones that we looked at today. Things to consider, but they will be shorter handles and fall in that sub three ounce range. And you might be sitting there, but what about your favorite knife? The Manix 2 Lightweight, the like one and done, does everything, comes in at like 2.9 to 3 ounces just on the lip of being too heavy, but it hits it there, you know, deep ride pocket clip, yada, yada, on and on. True, this is super close, but going back to the size thing, this is, I mean, look at the real estate difference in the pocket that the Manix is going to take up versus, say, the Benchmade, and these guys are going to be about the same price, right? I mean, significantly larger, thicker handle, and again, it's going to, um, Pro the the version that you would pay around the same price for, uh, you're not going to get quite the, the level of steel and the the options that this Benchmade is just going to offer to you. So though I have done it, I don't enjoy carrying this in the gym shorts as much as the knives that we've been looking at. And the guys, there's tons of other folders out there. I'm thinking like the Kershaw Friction, which I think is 1.9. I mean, you got the Boker Patriot, uh, which is a great option. But it, again, and they're all going to fall in this kind of like lightweight, thin polymer, you know, handled for the most part range. But um, some of those knives just have aspects that don't make me put these at, like at the top of the list. These are the top of the list, the cream of the crop for me, uh, for this particular application. Again, as slim as possible, as lightweight as possible, and um, giving us just a good option for gym short, short weather, you know, and, and relaxing, but still having a good EDC knife on you. So if you're asking me, okay, three levels, top of the line, which ones would I personally go with? I would say for middle of the line, Again, about 70, 65, 70 bucks, Spyderco, Delica 4. Um, you know, that's going to be basically, you cannot go wrong with that knife. It is mind-blowing. Um, highest end, obviously, again, like I said, the, the bug out from Benchmade. Under two ounces, great steel, great performance. Just a fun, fun knife. Great for, you know, short weather. And then if you're on just a tight budget, you, you blew 160 to 150 on your ZT, and you're like, yeah, I love it. But man, from you know June to September, I don't like carrying this when I'm at the you know family barbecue with my you know lightweight shorts on. It's just not a fun blade to carry, and I need something lighter. And you're on a tight budget. Boom, go with the Dozer. You're gonna love it. Uh, lots of options, blade options, uh, color handle com combination options. Still decent edge retention, um, and you know it's just a simple but functional and fun blade to carry. So. Uh, there it is, folks. That's the cream of the crop right there that we're looking at. Um, but all the options that we looked at today are great for the outdoors and for carrying around when you are in um, a situation where you're rocking your gym shorts, lightweight clothing, and you don't want those heavy, you know, more beefy knives weighing down and sagging down your pants. So I hope this video has helped you guys out. Thanks so much for coming over here today. Uh, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Vero, lots of places, links below for that. You can always see what's up and coming. Um, please subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. We're throwing up videos like this, concept videos, fun videos all the time. Um, and, uh, you know, I invite you to become part of the GT family. You regular subscribers, you're awesome. You rock. Thank you so much for your support. Finally, guys, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.